hey hey lovely people it's your girl abaya back with another video thank you for tuning back in again today and if you're new here hey you're most welcome to the family it's finally time for me to take down these braids they have been in my hair long enough and in today's video i want to share with you how i take it down how i wash my hair and how i re-moisturize my hair so if you were interested in seeing the process then keep on watching so now without any further ado let's dive right into this video So as you can see, my hair is really old and I have to like take it out. I should have taken it out a long time ago, but I had an injury on my hand and because of that, I wasn't able to use my hands. The braids stayed longer in my hair, longer than they should have, okay? But yeah, this is what it looks like after. I think it stayed in my hair for two months. Yeah, because I had the injury and I couldn't do anything like I said. So now my hand is fine and I can actually take the braids out. I'm trying to look for where my hair ends so that I don't accidentally cut my hair. So that's what I start with, unraveling the braids. It didn't really take, you know, it doesn't take time to unravel the braids, no. It just takes much more time to put the braids in. So this actually didn't take so long. Look at all the junk and the gunk that was trapped in my hair guys this is so bad nasty <laughs> so what I do is I'm detangling my hair as I go I'm not going to unravel everything and then detangle at the end I am doing it as I go because then I find that it creates less tangles and it's faster so I first of all wet my hair with water and then I add olive oil to soften the hair so that's what I'm going to detangle my hair with before I use the comb I finger detangle trying to get those junks out of my hair bigger nuts out of my hair before I try to comb and my hair wasn't really tangled up it just had the lint and all the product build up and as you can see once I started combing my hair it was easy to do it So the section was too big so I had to split it up into two. And whenever I encountered nuts that I couldn't comb out, I would use my fingers to get it out. That's the most important thing to avoid breakage is to switch between finger detangling and combs. Once I'm done with one section, I move on to twist it up and then I move on to the next section. I repeat the same steps, which is cut the hair, unravel the hair, being gentle while I'm unraveling the hair so that I don't cause unnecessary breakage. So, and then I apply water to my hair and then olive oil. And once I've done that, I start finger detangling and trying to get as much of the shed hair out as possible. Once I have done that, I move on to combing my hair. And after that, I twist my hair back up. So that's me all done my hair is finally free yes I was so excited I don't know how long it took I think three hours or so I took down the braids a month ago or two months a month ago I'm not so sure right now sorry but yeah So 
this is the amount of hair I lost guys yeah that's about the amount of hair I lose so I don't think it's anything too dramatic first of all I enjoyed having water on my hair I enjoyed feeling water on my scrub again and I tried to saturate my hair with water before I started shampooing and usually I start shampooing my scalp first before I shampoo the length of my hair and I work section per section per section so I would unravel the twist shampoo it up then twist it back up and then move on to the next and I start from the front working my way to the back Once I'm done shampooing everything, I just pamper myself and just apply more water on my hair, let it run down my scalp and all that. And then I move on to applying my deep conditioner slash protein treatment mask on my hair. And I really, really, really work it in. I'm squeezing it into my hair so every strand gets the goodies, okay? You will find the link to the actual mix in the eye cart, okay? So once I'm done, I put on my plastic cup and then cover my hair up and let it stay, let the dip conditioner stay in my hair for not less than an hour. After about an hour, I rinsed out everything. Look at the sun, guys. Look at the sun. Look at how the sun is gracing my skin, blessing me with its rays. <laughs> Can you see that? I was just in awe at how my skin was glowing with the sun anyway let's move on so it's time to moisturize my hair and I'm using the Aunt Jackie's um, kit line that's that's my moisturizer of choice that's what I've been using for a while and it works for me and I love it so I apply that and on the top of it I would apply olive oil and that's it so at this point guys I wasn't really feeling like doing anything much because I was done with the whole washing and I was done with the whole detangling and washing and everything I was tired so all I wanted to do is moisturize my hair and get it out of my way I, I wasn't trying to style it so the way I'm moisturizing and twisting back my hair is not like wearable. The twists are not neat that I could wear it, but yeah, I'm just I just wanted to moisturize it. <laughs> I repeat the same steps. First of all, applying the leave in and then on top of that i apply the olive oil and i'm making sure to really work it in and then i twist back up show you that process again a little bit slower as you can see I'm really I'm like making sure to get the edges don't forget the edges guys don't neglect your edges your roots your the length of your hair and the ends make sure to get the moisturizer everywhere And once I'm done with that, I twist my hair back up.
So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post my next video. See you again in my next video. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay safe. It is me, it is I, Obaya. Bye. Mwah.